What's up guys, this is Young Shot here, back here today to give you guys another video. This time we're going to be talking directly and focusing on Paul George and pretty much his announcement or his intentions to leave the Indiana Pacers um, for next year, pretty much after his contract is up. I also have with me Realist today to basically help me explain or basically help me with this with today's video. So. Realist, were you more excited about Paul George for tonight or for today? Trade him to trade him. Uh, but now people know his intention is to leave. So uh, I think it's going to be tough to get uh, good value back for him. Um, pretty much for Paul George. What I feel is that Paul George is going to basically leave and go to a team that he's naturally going to be desired with. Um, Lakers, his hometown. Cavaliers has already drawn interest to him, which I'll discuss in the next segment. And there's also been reports with the Boston Celtics pretty much trying to get him as well. Do a trade, and since his new got leaked out from Adrian Warnowski, Many teams has been looking at him, um, basically trying to send um, draft picks and players involved in deals. The Pacers already um, told everybody that they wanted, I think, two first round picks and uh, um, future picks and pretty much players and retain a Paul George in a way. But. Um, they're kind of holding back on it because the news just, you know, popped out, obviously. So we just got to see what Paul George's intentions is pretty much. We already know his intentions, but pretty much what he wants to do once he leaves or if, say, he does get traded. Um, now, if you're a team like the Cavaliers or the Boston Celtics or anybody else, even Miami, um, do you take the one year? that he has left on his contract and play the risk of him leaving you if you say do you require him through trade or you would you just leave him alone and hopefully he hits free agency specific teams are we talking about here the celtics heat and uh calves the celtics, um, heat, I, celtics heat and the, Cavs, definitely if i'm the heat um I don't touch him. Uh, I'm actually a Heat fan. Um, he would be a great addition to our team. Um, I think he would definitely get us into the playoffs. Um, but it's just too big of a risk um, on a one-year deal. Uh, we the Heat would have to give up probably dra uh, draft pick this year, they'd probably have to give up this year's draft pick uh, probably a Josh Richardson um, a Justice Winslow um, that would just that would just hurt the franchise even more if if he were to move on after the one year um, so I, I can't say I'd do it uh, Boston Boston's a team that's a wild card. Um, you don't really know what their intentions are to do. Um, Danny Ainge has been stockpiling picks and why it seems like the perfect situation to unload half of the half of the first round picks that they have uh, going into this year's draft and the next two drafts. You'd think it makes sense, but does Paul George really want to stay in the East where if he's on the Pacers or not, it's going to be tough for them to to beat the Cavaliers and not knowing who the team's even going to have in the roster. Uh, I, just, I don't know if it's a smart move for the, the Pacers. It's not somebody that's locked up under contract for multiple you know, multiple years to come, like a Jimmy Butler. Uh, if, they, if they traded for Jimmy Butler, the Celtics, I think they'd have a better chance of convincing him to stay. Um, 
The Cavs, 100%. I say you go all in for Paul George. Um, you don't really have no choice. You're looking to win now. Um, you got, and LeBron, I'm sure, would welcome Paul George in. Um, so would Kyrie Irving. Um, I don't know what they would have to give up to get Paul George. Uh, I've heard rumors of possibly a three-team deal with them, with the Cavs, the Pacers, and Portland Trailblazers. Uh, I know the Blazers are very interested in Kevin Love, and I heard they'd be willing to give up two first-rounders to three first-rounders and Alan Crabb for Kevin Love. Um, we call it for the Cavaliers side. So if maybe you could get, maybe if you could get those first rounders to, maybe if you could get those first rounders, and Allen Crab to Indiana, maybe with the Cavs sending over a Shumpert as well. Um, and then they receive uh. Paul George back and then the Portland Trailblazers get Kevin Love I think that's a deal that that all, that all parties could be happy with uh, Pacers could get their draft picks um, the Portland Trailblazers would get another big to go along with Nurkic, Nurkic and Kevin Love to go along with uh, Lillard McCullum in the backcourt and then the Cavs would get uh, another uh, a small forward uh, that might help them uh, get over the Golden State Warriors. So um, if it's the Cavs, I 100% pull the trigger on Paul George. Celtics, I'm 50-50. You really got a lot to think about. There's a lot of it's a high risk, high reward situation. It all depends what you're feeling. And uh, the the heat, I don't touch him at all. Um, with recent reports, pretty much uh, with the Cavs, um, it's shown right here, and, and I don't think this is a credible source. I don't feel like he's a credible source, but regardless, um, it sends a lot of insiders, especially one person in particular, Sam Amico, saying that um, I don't know if you prefer him as a source. I don't know if you have him as a source, realist. Would you trust him like a yeah, reliable source? Yeah, he's a okay. source. Yeah, okay. he's, he's a source. Okay, so Emco pretty much says like multiple people involved and the trade talks between the Cavaliers and the Indiana Pacers is actually legit um, to the point where they're actually considering giving up multiple players such as J.R. Smith, Amon Shumper, Kevin Love in a deal with the Pacers. Now, I, I know probably the Pacers obviously don't want to give up um i mean obviously don't want to um get shumpert and jr smith back in return only probably wanting k love but i don't think they haven't i don't think they want k love because they already got one young in the books and everything they already got his contract in the book and you already got miles turner um i think they will look for a third team like you said portland trailblazers is very interested in kevin love so they might get in on the sweepstakes and they always been looking to improve the team with Damian Lillard. So I think that would be a great help if Lillard and McCullum gets Kevin Love with Nurkic. That would be a really good team. Um, with that though, the Pacers is looking to make a deal with Paul George um, by the end or by the beginning of, or before the draft basically. So um, if they can't find it, before the draft, obviously, they're going to try more down the offseason. If they can't get in the offseason, obviously, obviously, they'll start at near the trade deadline and see if they can try to move him. But at this point, with every other team besides the Cavaliers, Boston will take a, that'll take a huge risk if they do decide to um, get him. And especially in um, do free agency or just do trade trading all those assets away especially for paul george which i'm not bashing he's a really good player can play without the ball and play with the ball in his hands which the celtics need 
it's kind of high risk, high reward. Because then again, you're always going to have to face the Cavaliers. And if they feel like Paul George, Isaiah Thompson, Al Horford, um, and whoever's the third pick isn't going to beat the Cavaliers, then you might as well not pull it. If they do, then that pretty much declares that they're trying to compete, obviously. And even then, you still have to get over the hump of the Warriors um, or the San Antonio Spurs if, say, they do add Chris Paul later on this season. Um, with the Miami Heat, it's been rumored that he was going to Miami, but it was just mostly um, just a comment through a picture. So it most likely not going to come true. But Pat Riley will be reaching for him. And uh, I feel like with the Heat, it will help. But then again, it wouldn't help his his desire of winning a championship. It's more of him basically trying to win a championship, trying to move somewhere where he can actually develop um, and basically win a championship with, with a team. Uh, I feel like the Miami Heat would make, um, will go into the playoffs and be like a fifth, fourth seed with Paul George on their team. Um, better than Indiana this year with being the eighth seed. Can you actually have more help with him? Um, it's just the fact of the matter is that um, he wouldn't have enough firepower to go past uh, such teams such as Cleveland or maybe even Washington if they even retool their team a little bit during the summer. Um, as far as the Lakers go, if Paul George gets, does get traded to the Lakers, I, I don't feel like the Lakers, and I kind of changed my mind about this from one from the podcast and one from us talking about the Lakers and their plans. Paul George, um, now looking back at it, I don't think they should automatically go for Paul George, even though it's a risk if you don't. Um, Cavaliers can end up getting Paul George at this point. Um, I would be interested if I was the Lakers. I'll try to see if I can call in and see if I can obtain him. Obviously, he has interest of going there. He has already said that he wanted to go there. Um, pretty much, it's, it's basically begging him to go there. And I don't know if the Lakers will, they're willing to take that risk and give up some of their assets or give up some of their players that they've been trying to work hard on to basically obtain Paul George as well. So pretty much with Paul George, I feel um, his best bet, obviously, is Cleveland Cavaliers. But in due time, we just got to see um, where do you see Paul George being traded at? Like before trade the line, before the draft, what, who, where do you feel like he's going to be traded at? Really? Um. I fully expect him to be traded within the next two to three days. Um, Gonna get traded in the next two to three days? Yeah, if the Pacers' goal is to obtain draft picks, 100%. Um, if the Pacers, you know, obtain... If they, their goal is to obtain draft picks, they're gonna want to draft... Uh, you know, I'm sure they're going to want to know who they're they they they're going to have a chance to draft. So I could see them trying to move on as soon as possible. Um, especially because um, the further along this drags, the worse offers they're going to get. Same thing happened with Demarcus Cousins as well. To that whole situation with Demarcus Cousins, uh, with the Kings, pretty much when he. Um, was on his final year of his contract and many people was wondering what the Kings was going to do and they got a worse offer. They, I think they took, they probably could have had a better offer from the Magic or the Lakers for girls and they didn't take it. Instead, they took Buddy Hill in the first round pick. That first round pick is going to help, but um, it's not a huge low for the star power that DeMarcus Cousins is. So, Hopefully, Indiana does deliver on their promise to trade Paul George before the draft because with the intentions already now made, um, I feel like they have pretty much no choice but to just get rid of him as quick as possible and take the best deal, get something out of him before he leaves and walks out on you with without no like assets or no nothing in, in, in return, pretty much. So. 
that's it for Paul George and pretty much the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you like the if you like the video, leave a like, slap a like down. If you enjoy any of the content on this channel, please leave a th um, please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up on other videos if you liked it. Um, make sure to check out Realist's YouTube channel. Um, he's been making YouTube videos. And also check out his Twitter as well. I'll leave it in the description below. Um, Realist, anything, last words you want to say? If you're the Lakers, don't trade for Paul George. And there you go. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. This is Young Shot Realist, and we out. Peace.